Daddy, this is 119. This is 119. We got to get these little boxes and stuff up out of here. He keep coming up here asking me what this stuff is. Y'all going to have to help me. Y'all got to cover for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the little boxes and I'm going to put them all in this big box. And then I'm going to walk downstairs with it like, you know, it's it's just one box. And then I'm going to go ahead and put it in a recycle bin with all the other boxes. And maybe he can't tell the difference. Y'all think it'll work? in this box I don't think I ordered no Pennywise so I I don't know what this is y'all but we finna see I may have ordered some Pennywise y'all because it is one of my favorite movies y'all like Pennywise the clown y'all ready for spooky season all right y'all so we're gonna get started with this first box here um this one I believe is gonna be a Funko Pop because it does say Funko.com. It's the size of a Funko box. So we're going to just assume that's what it is. And let's see what our first. Oh, snap, y'all. It is our Funko 2023 Summer Convention Limited Edition area. So this is 1366. And I got this from Funko.com. I believe it may be exclusive to Funko.com, but don't quote me on that. But I know on their website it is currently sold out. So there she is in her little mermaid form. And we're going to take her out of the box so you can see. You see that it has the uh, Funko 2023 Summer Convention sticker there on the front. There's her view from the side. And then here on the back, so you see those are the ones that you can get. So you have Ariel, Prince Eric, Ursula, and King Triton there on the back. And then you have Ariel here on the side. And like I said, this is 1366. So let's get her out the box then so that you can get a good look at her. So here's our Ariel, you guys. And as you can see there, they did a really great job on her face. Of course, they gave her the braided detail in her hair, the little baby hairs around her forehead. And look at the little cute mold there above her eyebrow, you guys. I love the way they did her face really pretty. And I'm going to put it up close so you can see the details in her tail and then her top up here. You can actually see the scales in there so really pretty and this actually has two colors on her tail uh, this kind of turquoise color and then it transitions into this darker green and then same with her fin it's that pink and then it transitions into that purple so really pretty and i love that they have her on this stand so it almost gives you the illusion like she's just swimming uh, or floating there in the water so really pretty i love the back of it it almost looks like a little flower there really pretty so i love this a lot and excited to have this one in our little mermaid collection so this is our ariel from funko.com all right you guys we're going to jump into this next box this is the one i told you guys i don't know what this is um i did order from grotto's treasures Ah, I know what this is, y'all. <laughs> so, how did I forget that I ordered this? Okay, let me open this first. So, you guys, it's a shirt. It's my Star Wars shirt. And this is the Stitch Shop shirt. That came out, I think this was the in the July catalog. Oh, that's nice. So, you guys, y'all know the Stitch Shop shirts come with um, different pins. They, every item that's a Stitch Shop item comes with a pin. This pin is really cool. So, you actually have a pink and a blue 
lightsaber and then you have some of the tie fighters and the star fighters which are the jets or the planes or whatever you want to call it that they flew around in on star wars so that's really cool love that a lot so we'll definitely be adding this one to our star wars collection and then you have this design here on the front of the shirt so as you can see, you have R2 and C-3PO out there floating in space and the Millennium Falcon out there, uh, the Death Star, some of the Star Fighters. So really love this. And you guys, one thing about these Stitch Shop shirts, I really love the fit on here on these shirts. They feel really nice. They do have some stretch to them, but they hug your body. And I love that. So it's not like a like an oversized super jumbo type t-shirt it's it's i don't know it feels like to me like when i wear these um stitch shop shirts that they're actually women's cut and i like that a lot so i was trying to see if i saw anything about the shirt glowing on the dark but really love this design on here super nice so i'm gonna really enjoy wearing this over at hollywood studios so you guys, I had to get this shirt because I had to get this bag. So let's get into this one. Now this bag, you guys, I know it definitely does glow in the dark. And this one is actually a crossbody. And it, I wonder if it has the same pin. Yes. So it does have the same pin that's on the shirt. And my goodness, look at all this stuff, y'all. The, 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 the bag fly or something? What the heck? I ain't never, I ain't never see. What? Okay, I'm going to send this to one of y'all. Y'all read it and tell me what to say. But anyway, I'm going to get into the bag. Well, Hold we on. do know it glows, in the, uh, it glows in the dark and it, <laughs> and it lights up. This thing has so much details. I had to take a minute to look at it and get myself together, y'all. Cause whoo. So we'll get started with the light side. So on this side, you guys, it says 35 cents, May 4th, Comic Group. And then it says approved by the Comic Code Authority, Adventures Beyond the Greatest Space Fantasy Film of All. Then you have R2 and C-3PO in the corner here. And you have Star Wars there. And then, of course, you have Chewie, Luke, Han, um, C-3PO, R2-D2, and Princess Leia. So that is the light side. And it says featuring Han Solo in the Stanex Shuffle. Whatever that is. Somebody have to tell me what that is. Then you have um, gunmetal hardware. You have a top handle here on the side. And you guys, this, oh my gosh. I, I, I don't think I've ever seen a booklet this thick on the bag. And then, of course, we have the same pin that we have on the shirt that I just showed you. And then, we have the dark side. And so, this one says, 35 cents, May 23rd, Comics Group, Adventures Beyond the Greatest Space Fantasy Film of All, approved by the Comic Code Authority. So, that's what's there on the top. You have Luke. I think that's Luke there with the lightsaber. Of course, you have Darth Vader. And it says, you've escaped the wheels, Rebels, but not, but you now must face the wrath of Darth Vader. And so you have him there with his lightsaber and the Millennium Falcon there again. And then, um, I don't know what this space station is, but that's one of the space stations. And then Flight into Fury. So, on the sides... You have a red lightsaber. And then you have a blue lightsaber. And then on the inside, you guys, you have actual comic strip from Star Wars. So I love that a lot. And it's also underneath the bag as well. So it extends over the side. This bag is so cool, you guys. Then you have that comic strip lining. <laughs> Y'all. 
it is all throughout the inside of this bag y'all and then we have a zipper pocket on the inside and then of course we have our crossbody strap i can't wait to wear this y'all oh my goodness so look at that inside how cool is that so now oh my goodness y'all that's just one side then on this side wow it's so much space oh there's the light okay oh gosh y'all so here is the comic strip on the dark side so you have the same thing and look you have all of these pockets here so you have pockets on this side too so this thing is massive oh man i can't wait to carry this bag so i found the light switch i was wondering where that was so you see there that switch in there so let's turn that on and see what happens oh. y'all <laughs> oh my gosh look at it wait a minute let me turn these let me turn these lights down okay y'all i turned lights down <laughs> look at that y'all <laughs> now i know y'all all not star wars fans but come on you gotta get down with the get down on this one y'all let me see see if we can yes sir <laughs> we're definitely gonna have some fun with this one look at that y'all look at that glow oh my i wonder if there's other stuff on the bag that glow let me see is it it kind of does look like it's glowing y'all i'm not like in a dark dark room y'all this is amazing all right, y'all, we live and back in color. Okay, so let's see what we have in this box. This one, you guys, is from Merch Ventures. And I remember what this is because, you guys, I... Okay, so I said I'm just going to order what I need, what I think is going to sell out from this catalog. And I didn't order these. And then when I got ready to order them, I can't find them nowhere. So, Merch Ventures. So, Merch Ventures posted um, about a week or so ago that they had this back in stock. And I immediately jumped on it because I could not find them anywhere. And when you see these, you'll know why I bought them. So, you guys. Oh, look at that hat. It's bent. It is the lounge fly it's my birthday ears what he his um listen and he got a little paint streak going down the back but oh well we was partying like it's our birthday so you have this hat that's here you have the silver sequins and the confetti bow there oh and it's actually confetti do it move yeah, y'all, look at Move. That's so cute. It has actual confetti in there. And some of them are even little Mickey heads. You see them? That is adorable. So, some of you all may or you may not know, but usually, every year, I spend some part of my birthday month. I try to actually be there on my birthday at Disney World. So this says Disney Lounge fly on the side. I don't know how well you can see that. I hate them having to film in the dark today, you guys. But it is what it is. I had to get this out to you. Um, so we have this It's My Birthday. It's My Birthday. So I thought this would be really cool to have when it is my birthday. And as you can see, you guys, this piece does detach off. And I'm going to have to train this up because y'all know I can't stand that. So I have to train that up. But the little snaps on the back 
are actually here. See here? On the ear. And when they're gone, when the hat is off, you can't even tell that they were on there. So, so cute. So you can wear this anytime, not just on the birthday. I love the um, rainbow headband. And it has that um, kind of velvet inside. So I really love that a lot. So that'll feel really comfortable on the head. But I love the rainbow effect that's going on on the um, headband. And we have a little short tag, which I love that as well. So here are our sequence ears from Merch Ventures. Okay, next up, you guys, we have this box from Enchanted Suppliers. And um, unfortunately, Enchanted Suppliers has um, gone out of business since I ordered this package. Um, they actually had a huge sale, like a clearance sale to get rid of any inventory that they had in stock once they announced that they were um that they needed to close their business and so um i did post on my instagram when they did that because they actually had bags from the new catalog on sale and those items were I wish I had the prices, but they were like 50% off. So, here's what I see on the inside of this bag. I wish that they didn't go out of business. Um, I didn't have the chance to meet them myself or to chat with them at all, but my interaction with them, like just watching their page, they actually followed my Instagram page, and they seemed like a really great um company a great small shop and so we hate to see when um the companies have to dissolve for whatever reason um so i hope that we get to see them again because they were um really great customer service and great to work with so i actually did pick these items up so in their bag they actually sent us these really cute stickers and this is what i mean their customer service is amazing they always had great deals always were quick shippers um i had a really great experience with them so i loved how they put the hogwarts washi tape across the front and let's see what stickers they sent to us so we have lilo and stitch and we have another stitch here we have one of my favorites, the old hag. And we have Snow White. And we have Thumper and Bambi. So, so sweet of them to include this. And even, you know, under these circumstances, when they were going out of business, they still were giving great customer service all the way up to the end. So, this thing I found... I wanted to try out and I'm trying y'all I'm trying to get my husband to kind of work with me so we can start doing some little cooking series because y'all know I have somewhere up there the Tiana cookbook and then I ordered this villains cookbook and so it comes with this apron and it has um this cookbook in here and um I want to try I actually want to try some of these recipes so let me see if i can get it out and show it to you guys especially you know with spooky season coming it's probably some good things that to that we could do in here that would be fun to kind of do for just for spooky season so here's the book and it says devilishly delicious cookbook disney villains and look at the pictures on the back they already have devil eggs on it. Oh, look at the inside, y'all. How cool is that? Has everybody. Love that. And I love that color on the inside. And it's the same thing on the front. Do y'all notice when I show y'all books, I always go from the back to the front? Oh, y'all. Ooh. Now, if that don't look good, Oh, 
Oh, yeah. Y'all, we got to do some of this stuff for spooky season. Y'all talk to my husband and tell him to help. He's the cook in the house, so he's the one that he has to help me. I'll be the sous chef, and he can help me. Uh, he can tell me what to do. I need some coaching. Or else y'all wouldn't want to taste what I cook, I don't think. Unless it's a holiday. I cook holiday food. I cook the soul food, that holiday food. But he cooks everything. He can look at stuff like this. Look at the picture and figure it out. And, and then it comes out so great. So we're going to see what we can do. Look at that salad, y'all. Now, I know we don't traditionally want to eat salad, but that's pretty. We would eat that. Horrible, wholesome, sunshine salad. Jolly Roger brisket. Oh, he would love to make that. Oh, my gosh. Look at that, y'all. Yeah, I need to prep time 20 minutes. Look at that soup, y'all. This is perfect for fall season. So I'm going to see if I can get him to help me do some of that so we can film for y'all. Us cooking in the kitchen. Would y'all want to see that? And then I'm going to stand up so you can see this apron. And it has everybody to the party so we see maleficent dr facilier cruella hades and the evil queen and chinnabob so really cute and love that this is purple and so this one would be my apron and i got him an apron too y'all that was on sale. So I'm trying to butter him up, y'all, so he can he can do this for us. So they had this apron, and I feel like this, you guys, was like 60, 60, like six bucks. And I know he'll love this. He'll know I got this. So if I get him this, y'all, while I'm sneaking the boxes downstairs, we might get away with it. But y'all, look at this. So I got him this one. And it is the Mandalorian. And it says, this is the way. Isn't that cool, you guys? So I thought he would like this one. And then I could wear the villain's one. I got lounge for that too, y'all. And I held out on this. I'm so proud of myself. Y'all proud of me? I knew it was going to go on sale. So, I didn't know it was going to go on sale this quickly, but I knew it would eventually go on sale, so I waited. And this one is the Lounge Fly Star Wars Scene Series Phantom Menace. And if y'all know me, or you know Star Wars, y'all know who was in Phantom Menace. It's my man, y'all. Y'all seeing? Woo we have right here on the front, Anakin driving his pod racer. Y'all know he thought he was the baddest man in town with his pod racer. And you see you have Qui-Gon and Obi-Wan fighting Darth Maul there on the front. You have that red and gold Star Wars lounge fly plaque, really pretty. You have a starfighter there on the zipper pull really nice love that with that gold trim the colors y'all on this bag are just they're amazing and y'all that he is it's my man y'all that's Darth Maul then we have the queen herself queen Amidala on the back and then we have Qui-Gon and Obi-Wan here on the side pocket and these are two working side pockets you have your gold hardware and there he is y'all it's my jaja vinks on both sides so we have a lot of my favorite favorite characters on this bag i love this red and gold the colors on this bag y'all they just pop i love it like even from far back you can look at this bag and you know immediately who this is 
So on the inside of this bag, let's look and see what they have. And you just have on the inside a repeated pattern of Star Wars Episode One: Phantom Menace. And there we have our slip pocket. So really cool bag, you guys. Definitely excited to add this one to my collection. And here is our Phantom Menace bag from Enchanted Suppliers. All right, y'all, we're down to our last box. So I'm gonna go ahead and get into this one. This one, y'all, is from Grotto's Treasures. So let me get this one open and let's see what we have in here. Oof. All right, y'all. I ain't show y'all my cup from the day. Ain't this cute, y'all? This one came from Target. Look at that pretty turquoise blue color, y'all. So this one is not a Disney parts, but of course it is a Starbucks tumbler. So cute. So y'all, this is what I see on the inside. So we have this really pretty blue paper. We have a card from Grotto's Treasures and there's all of their information there. And, whoa, there's two bags in here. Y'all, I'm just show y'all this one first, since we already did. I know this um <laughs> unboxing was gonna have a theme, but I guess it did. So this one, you guys, oh we. So y'all, let's take a closer look at this one. So this one, you guys. I think this one was the one the one that just released. I could not this one I couldn't wait on. I I, I had to have this one. I, I couldn't wait. So no, I was not patiently waiting for this one. This one had to come home. So this one is called the Lounge Fly Star Wars Episode 3 Revenge of the Sith Scene Mini Backpack. And so this one, you guys, you have Anakin and the love of his life pad made there on the front. You have Yoda there on the pocket. You have that really pretty gold and black Star Wars lounge fly plaque. And our fight scene here, this is when um, Obi-Wan and Anakin fought and Obi-Wan just cut them up. And then y'all know what happened from there. On the zipper pull, we have General Grievous and I have his lounge fly too. And we have uh, Palpatine and Anakin there on this pocket. And we have Obi-Wan on this pocket. And here we have Master Windu here on the side. And yeah, y'all, that's Samuel Jackson. He was in Star Wars 2 for those of y'all that don't watch. See, they had everybody in there. Our hardware, if I didn't say, is gold. Really pretty. And... Y'all, here goes my daddy, Darth Vader. I told um, somebody, I was talking to them about this movie, like this is the one movie where I cry every time. When Anakin die, and when Darth Vader breathe for the first time, I cry every single time. I can't help it. I just can't help it. And then on the inside of this one, we have Star Wars Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith. And we have that in that yellow tone, repeated pattern on both sides of the bag. And we have a slip pocket in this one. So another one to my collection. I should have grabbed, um, there was a, there was one of the scenes, I can't remember which movie now, but I remember the bag was $35. Um, I should have grabbed that while that was on Lounge Fly too, but we'll see if I catch it on sale, I get it. So I have a trilogy, <laughs> but here's my Revenge of the Sith bag from Star Wars. Our last Lounge Fly 
you guys will know what this one is because I showed you the ears earlier so this is the bag that matches it so as you can see I ordered from several different small shops um, and of course y'all know I just let everything just stack up until we do an unboxing but I did I got the bag from Grotto's and the ears from Merch Venture so I mean, hey, however you can get your merch, get it. Um, sometimes it's good to support multiple shops. You may be able to find one thing at one and something at the other, or somebody's deals might be better. So always check around. Don't just jump on the first thing smoking, because a lot of times you can use points and or get double points, and they, all kind of promotions be going on on these small shops. So don't forget to shop with them whenever you can. So you guys, here is our celebration mini backpack you do have that it's my birthday hat there at the top with the little pretty pom-pom that silver sequins you have the white bowl there with the paper confetti and the little mickeys there on inside of the bowl you have a white disney lounge fly plaque and notice the rainbow effect going around the plaque so really pretty you have silver hardware on this one and check out that zipper pull it almost has a 3D effect, you guys. Almost like a little balloon, like a silver balloon. Is that a balloon? Hot dang it is. Look at that, y'all. It's a silver Mickey balloon. Really pretty. So you have um, two work inside pockets, of course. You have um, silver trim on this bag. Oh, and notice here too, the zipper fabric has that rainbow effect how pretty is that then you have the rainbow straps the handle at the top is rainbow you have this rainbow strap here across the top and then you have the sensational six on the back and look at daisy y'all she is giving honey so cute love that and then on the front of the bag, on the front pocket, you have that white bright background. And then you also have a lot of that paper confetti with the little Mickeys there. So cute. I love this bag, you guys. I really love the way they did this plaque. And then just like the ears, this, of course, can come off. And then here's what it looks like without the hat. So really nice bag, one that you could carry at any time um, in the park, so wherever. A really fun bag to have, so I love this a lot. And this bag really sparkles, you guys. Um, on the inside of this one, I am sure we're gonna have a slip pocket. And we, oh, so cute. You have pastel mickey and mini balloons on the inside with the little party hats on so cute that's adorable and then you have a slip pocket on the other side so really cute love that a lot so you guys this is our Lounge Fly Celebration Bag and the Matching Ears. So really love that. So glad to add these two to the collection. So I hope you all enjoyed the video today. I really did not realize how much Star Wars merch I had in, this, in these boxes. So that was a pleasant surprise for me at least. And so I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. And so if you have not had a chance to subscribe to the channel and you like what you see, please go ahead and take a moment to subscribe. We would love to have you here. And if you're not ready to subscribe, we get that too. But please give the video a thumbs up as it will greatly help the channel. If you are participating in our subscription, subscriber appreciation event let me know in the comments what bags that are coming up for the august collection the spooky season collection for lounge fly that you are excited to see or that you ordered or will be ordering and with that you guys will go ahead and end the video for today again thank you for hanging out with me and we will see you on the next video Bye, you guys.